Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to another episode on the Truly Bedrock server. That's right, guys. Um, it's been a long two weeks, but I am so happy to be back and just get to work because you know what? I've got a lot of stuff to do. And the first thing <laughs> that we're going to do today is that while I was gone, something happened at my base. I'm looking at you, Tiz. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, can't help but notice. I have a base in, inside my base. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, one Mr. Tiz Tom, um, well, he, he decided that my base needed a house. So he went ahead and built his little, like, I, I don't know, little rustic house inside of my tower. Uh, I live here now. <laughs> I wanted to be building to show off RTX. So I actually quite like this. So I might try to figure out a way. Oh, and apparently my villagers have um, changed professions. They were just plain villagers. <laughs> well, that's fine. Uh, we're just going to use them for breeding anyway, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I might just go through here, um, fill in some of the unused pieces, and then... Yeah, close it up. Maybe make a sky up there and just leave this here because this is a cute little house. Like, I mean, I can't complain, right? It might get a little bit taken over by all that nether stuff in there, but I'm not going to worry about it. We'll just, we'll just leave it alone, right? I know that it's been quite a while since my last video. So what we're going to do right now is actually this right here, this little thing we're going to make the next house. And while we make the next house, we're going to have a little bit of a time-lapse chat so that me and you, we can catch up a little bit. Hey, and here we are. I just wanted to take a second to say thank you guys so much for bearing with me and, and being patient. I know that I was gone a lot of December and I just haven't been the most reliable. And that's just during the holidays are pretty hard for me in general. There's just, you know, a lot of personal stuff. But this season was a little bit harder because as you know, with everything going on, you not being able to see family just really sucks. So I decided that in January, like midway through January, that I was going to take a little time off. So I'm really excited to be back. I feel refreshed. I feel energized and ready to, you know, really put some effort in and, and try and get back on schedule. So I just wanted to say again, thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for sticking by and being around because I really genuinely appreciate you guys and I just wanted to take a second to show you a little love. So let's just get back to the time lapse and I will see you guys in a little bit. I hope that you guys enjoyed that little bit of a time lapse. I know that it wasn't too long, but we did finish the outside of the house, at least for the most part. So what we have here is this little cottage. I mean, it's, I keep saying little, I mean, I, I don't know who I'm kidding. I don't think I can build <laughs> on a little scale anymore. I was like, oh yeah, I'm just going to make this little tiny house. And it's, you know, about the size of the fishing shack. So you know what? It is what it is. We're just going to go with the interesting size builds in this whole entire town, I'm sure. So what we have here is the house. I have added the dock in, which I you may have seen in the time lapse. Not sure if I actually time lapse that, if I'm being real honest. But so we have added some definition in here. We have gone through and poked out bits of the siding like we did at the fishing shack just to give it some uh, depth and definition. We have these planters. We have little, you know, I, I tried to tie these two together. So we have these interesting shapes over there. The, the more like round things that kind of remind me of like hobbit holes. I carried that over here and I really like it. Although I didn't realize that I had made this, um, 
<laughs> very even. So we're just gonna we're just gonna deal with it. And I don't think it's honestly that bad. But if we go inside, we will see that like most of the things around here, we don't have an interior. So we will try to get this done. I don't know if that will be in this episode or not. Just depends on how much time we have left. But this is a nice, decent amount of space. I wasn't sure that we were going to be able to fit anything. I don't know. I just thought it might be a little, a little cramped inside. Before we work on the interior, though, the one thing that I really do want to make sure that I get done is some of the terraforming on the outside, because right now it kind of looks like I just plopped it in the middle. If we take a flight, let's see if I can actually fly on the server. Since we updated, flying has been kind of <laughs> uh, hit or miss. So if we look over here, it, it looks a little bit I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't blend in very well. So what I'm going to do is terraform over here, make this a lot more uh, gradual. I might start replacing some planks inside the little dock that we have. It's not really a dock. What would what would we call this? Like a uh, uh, maybe like a pathway. I don't know. Whatever that is over there is called <laughs> it really needs to be uh messed up a little bit because for it being on the shoreline it's it's too pretty so we will add some texture there and i think that this needs to be more rocky so we're going to terraform that we'll come over here bring this in terraform over here just make this look like it's been carved out and into the terrain I think that'll make this whole area just tie together so much better. And then by the time we add the two other buildings right here and terraform along here, this is going to look really nice. And I mean, if I wasn't falling, it wouldn't be a Jesse episode. So <laughs> let's just head over there, get to terraforming and uh, see how much left we have in this episode. And just like that, we have finished a bunch of the terraforming, and I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I mean, I can't really complain. It's not like the most detailed I've ever done, but for now, it's really going to just start off the terraforming. It's going to start, you know, making this look a little bit more uh, detailed, a little bit more jessified. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm not going to lie. And I think that it does what the intention was. It starts to bring the detail in and makes this look like it's a little more put together. Also, I did clear this pathway right here because what I'm going to do is actually make the path go from there and go up into these other houses. So I decided that this would be just a good little walkway. I will terraform up here and I'm pretty excited with the prospect. I think now that we have added in this building, it really is starting to give me ideas for how the rest of the layout will go. However, Right now, I got a message from Liara herself, and she is ready to meet up. Let me tell you, we have been trying to get together for just about, I don't know, three, four months now to try and do the tower entrance for the nether tunnel. So now that she is almost completed with that, it's really time that we get our stuff together and get this tower built at least go over the plans so that we can get it done so that that nether tunnel can be completely finished. But like I said, we're going to head over there because she is 
finally free at the same time I am. And yeah, let's just go get it done. Jesse! Lee! Hi! Hi, 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 hi. Oh, we finally, we finally meet up. I it's mean, been so long. <laughs> when did we say we were going to do this? Like three months ago before Halloween? Probably. <laughs> before I had the rest of this done, like... There, there was still, this is still very bare bones when I last said that we were going to meet up soon. <laughs> um, yeah, no, the the only part, well, ignore the gas city in the middle of the highway down there. The only part of the highway left to do <laughs> is uh, the central spot here. So portal needs moved, obviously, but yeah. I need help with design because my brain knows only circles presently from my <laughs> actual base and uh well circles and mountains yeah I was and you say, know things that are not <laughs> i mean i've done a few towers in my day this is true <laughs> yes and i have not so um yeah tower is, spot I, I was gonna say is this the area that you're thinking of just like right here yeah yeah so this is centered um the, it, the the idea had been uh, not another one. <laughs> the idea had been to make sure that these can't spawn here anymore. Um, either just like straight through this section, or as like an octagon shape, shape here. Oh, uh, I thought I'd had it marked out as on both sides, but Dadcraft has given us the creepy tunnel um, and filled in part of that. But it could go either way. Either way, the idea had just been like a spot for us to fly in and out of the highway like okay. by now i think we all have our ways to do so but like this is this is where it all began yeah. like right up here <laughs> is where we all spawned for episode zero and yeah you know like the lava portal shenanigans yeah. yeah yeah exactly like i'm like the, the, I figure this is going to go up to like 80 or 100, maybe. Ooh, so really tall. Like okay. A, yeah, like a ways. Um, so that it clears that area around there. And where on earth is it? Like, there, like, like I said, there's that area with that giant. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So yes. my only question really is how wide did we want it? Like really wide, sort of wide. Um, the highway is a is like fifteen blocks wide, and mm -hmm. I think I had that as like thirty. Like I've gone the the octagon had those get put up around. Yeah. Them. Okay. Um, but I don't know where all it comes out at exactly. But it's I don't know. I don't know what I was picturing exactly, other than a tower. Okay. And like Enderman proofing. <laughs> Enderman proofing would be nice for sure. It definitely uh, has been many an Enderman that has sneaked up on me. Yeah. I don't even have a totem right now because I <laughs> kind of got killed by one waiting for you. I just have the one. <laughs> I, I mean, I have a Oh, no, fun. I'm not. I, I have, I have, have seven that. shulkers at home. I just don't have any more on me. That's oh, all. my goodness. Seventy. Okay, so um, then would it come through this area too, you think? Yeah, like it should come up on both sides because of like how the highway splits underneath it. Okay, well, I just, I didn't see any. Oh. What? Oh. Hmm. That doesn't seem normal. Catch your bus and you sleep now.